Hi everyone, it is Tarnished Treasures and today I'm sharing my dining room for New Year's going into the rest of winter. So I took down all the Santa Clauses and touches of red and I thought I'd share with you what I kept. So on the dining room table, I did put the Santas away, but I left out the Jingle Bells and I left out the red flowers. They are Coxcomb and I just got those at a thrift shop. Um, it's kind of like a furniture thrift shop and I like them because they're this dusty red color matches with the curtains and then for the tablecloth I picked this up on eBay I don't see a label for a brand but I just really liked um, how the red also was kind of faded and the green as well some napkins I picked those up at Target this year they were um, Joanna Gaines and then these salt and pepper shakers are a Christmas gift. They are from Pottery Barn, and I have, I think, two other pieces from this collection, so I asked for those. Over here in this cabinet, I painted the back black because I never thought that the wood behind anything really showcased it. You can see like that versus this. I like that black. I don't think that I want to paint the sides black. I think it might get too dark. So in here, I had all of my ceramic Santa figurines and angels. So I put those away. I kept out the jadeite. I switched um, this little tree over. I like the white lights. And I kept some deer out and some gold ornaments. I put bells and ornaments um, in different places. I always think about ringing the new year in. And also, I thought that those little bubbles and balls looked like champagne bubbles. Why not? Then up here, I've got this tree. I do wanna pull out some silver beads to string on it, just like I've done on the side of this snowy picture. Uh, the silver stars I actually had up there on the black and white picture for Christmas. And then took some ornaments off the silver tree. So lots of metallic colors and white and angels and bells. That's what I'm doing. Um, but then trees and just the green as far as like thinking about a, a little lodge in the winter time. In my corner cabinet, you can see all of the things that I just said, the silvers and the golds and the angels. And these are some jingle bells that I cut off of a red velvet strip. It was like really bad. And I think that this little container looks like a champagne glass. So when I put those in there, I thought it looked like bubbles for champagne. I thought that was kind of cool. And these little lights I had in the kitchen, so I just put them in here. I just love how it's like a jumbled mess, just like these little mercury beads that I found. And um, I definitely need to pick some more of those lights up because I really like that look. I kept this little snowman out. He was such a good flea market find this year for like 50 cents. I think he's so cute. I did not want to put him away yet. So over here, I did pick up this tree after Christmas on sale at Crate and Barrel. I had my eye on it for a while um, and I was really happy to get it 50% off. It's got lights. It's got some silver on the green and anytime you add the silver or the white to the green and the red, it gives it that faded older look. I really like it. Um, so I think that this will be nice next Christmas next to the fireplace by the sled. And right now I have it out for winter. This awesome wreath that I picked up in Sally's shop on eBay, La Maison Belle Vintage. And then I added lots more bells and, you know, wintry things from my, my crafting stash. I've got many compliments on it. And then in my other corner cabinet, I had these silver tassels. I picked these up in a bag at Savers a few years ago. I don't think I ever shared them. I think that they're old. I have no clue what they're used for. And this is the first year that I figured out where to put them and I'm happy. So I actually have three that were in the bag. So I put one there and I put one there and they don't interfere with opening the cabinets at all. And I've really been into um, on YouTube and she has a blog. It's called the Parisian Farmhouse. And I think that we have a lot of uh, similar interests and thoughts about things. And I was reading her blog and it said something about like guards, like garage selling and thrifting. And it said, don't ever be afraid to buy something, even if you don't know where you're going to use it. Because if you are attracted to it, you know, it's your aesthetic, you know, you like it. And eventually it will find where it's supposed to go. And I think that 
that is uh, exactly what I'm thinking about with these tassels. And you know, they didn't take up a lot of space to store. And then now I'm very happy where, where I've put them. So in here I have some of my angel assemblages. So this one, um, I plucked her head off of an ornament. I put her on the base of this little feather angel, gave her a little stick pin. And you saw this one from the summertime. A couple ribbon rolls and wooden ornaments and angels. A lot of the stuff from like friend mails and picked up at yard sales. The other thing that I picked up at Target after Christmas is the garland of these white bottle brush trees. They were on sale for $6 and I think they came with at least 11 or 12 and I plan on crafting with them. Um, so when I made that little vlog about you know, Christmas Eve and doing everything. I had said all the stores that I wanted to get to, you know, for after Christmas sales. And I was able to, to get to all of them and get what I wanted. I was very happy. Also, pardon the voice. I have a sinus infection. <laughs> Got it on 10 o'clock on Christmas night. So over here, on my buffet, keeping it simple. Um, this plate is Homer Laughlin. I think that's how you say it. Laughlin, Lachlan. Um, it's the company that makes fiesta and um it's called the i think the angelus is what it's stamped and i was given this by my mother-in-law and she thinks that it was her husband's mother's or grandmother's and it's got this most beautiful holly design i just i think it's absolutely gorgeous so haven't put that away and i picked this up for a dollar at the thrift shop i just loved the bead design and the engraving Definitely has that like romantic Victorian feel. And uh, I kept up some greens, added these two little angels. The pine cone wreath lights up at night. It's on a battery timer, so that's awesome. And then these were a Savers find. I went to Savers after Christmas. Everything was 75% off. That was winter. And uh, I got some great things. And in one bag were these little metal silver votives. So I've ordered some beeswax candles to go in there. And I thought that was nice with the metallic and the snowflake for after winter. Thanks for watching everyone. I will see you in another video.